As you guys can tell, it's snowing out. It's been an interesting day. We had snow flurries this morning. This entire top, like 10, 12 inches is all frozen currently. Hopefully weather will permit us to come back out here tomorrow and keep plugging away. Chris, <laughs> this has been a project we've been doing for two, two years, years really. two years. Yeah. All kinds of other stuff happening out here. Pool house, pool, incredible patio. We didn't pick the best day to get started, but when's the best time to plant a tree? Right now. <laughs> so we're planting that tree today. Build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. We're gonna come out here and get your reservoir put in. What are you most excited about? The pool house, the water feature, it's just all being done at this point? Yeah, all being done, but I'm really looking forward to the water feature. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. It's, I think it's, what's nice about the water feature is it's gonna tie that space and this space together. The bridge, the stepping stones, and uh, you really just kind of letting us evolve as we go, because <laughs> we've changed the design in the last two years, probably uh, at least five times, uh, yeah, right? At least, yeah, at least. Yeah, well, at least. we're excited. I'm most excited, Chris, about your guys' reaction when we're all done so hopefully even with all this snow coming down we can finish it this year and get the water feature part done so you guys can at least enjoy it from the inside of the house over there and at least see something come back to life all right yeah let's all do right. it so not the best day to start a water feature but like i said when's the best time to plant a tree 15 years ago second best time right now so that's what we're doing we're, we're going to get this thing going we've got a 30 block reservoir going in which is about a thousand gallons right in here we have to double stack those because because we've got electric lines here, we have low voltage lines over there, we have plumbing lines, all that stuff's gotta get snaked in through there. We've got a bridge coming in right over here that's gonna bring you right into the pool house, which will be awesome. The key with that stream is to really twist and turn it as much as I possibly can between the pool deck and this main living area out here, which is just so awesome. Huge, big, beautiful living area. You can see Juan and Chris over here setting the bio falls they're getting that set up at elevation of course that gets set right away so the plumbing can come in and then the berm work can go the other thing i really want to do is i'm setting this at a height a little higher than normal because we're going to bring soil out in front of it probably about two to three feet then start our waterfalls and that pool should end someplace right in here so i want to create a little bit more of a stream before it comes then a big drop and then into this meandering stream that twists and turns over into there the other thing i want to do is if got this huge fire pit that sits back over in that space over there. I want this burn from here to come all the way out to about here. So the pathway that leads from the patio here isn't a straight shot to that. I want it to twist around that, creating a little mystery. So when you get back in there, it's totally hidden. It feels like its own little world back in there, especially by the time all of this gets landscaped and everything else. I want the same thing to happen with the back side of the pool. So the biofalls is sitting here, of course, to be visible from inside the house but more importantly to hide part of the pool deck and everything else making sure that people want to use the bridge or the stepping stone pathway to get over into there so hopefully creating a lot of mystery lots of twisting turning paths lots of twisting turning streams and more importantly hopefully hopefully we can beat this weather if we can get this done by thanksgiving so chris can be enjoying some turkey outside <laughs> next to the stream <laughs> that would be perfect chris thanks for the opportunity hopefully uh, we exceed your expectations i'm sure you I'm sure we will. Thanks, bud. So we've got a reservoir in, just backfilling with sand. The reason we're doing sand is we're able to fill every single ounce of void space all the way around this reservoir. We had to overdig it because we ended up getting into some riprap. There was an old driveway that was in here and we went about four and a half feet, actually four feet, eight inches from our low point over there to be exact. That's why you can see such an elevation change is the top of our aqua blocks there to the top. The reason we did that is because we have virtually no grade change, which Brian talked about earlier in the video and we wanted to create a waterfall that's coming down into the reservoir. So we wanted to compensate for the thickness of the water, the height of our rocks above the water level for our meandering stream in through here and still give us enough of a great change to pull off the waterfalls in here. So that's why we set the basin so low. We've got three vault extensions on there. The vault sits right in the middle. Once everything's backfilled and compacted, we will fold the liner back and show you what we mean by that. Our stream will enter into the reservoir somewhere into here and it'll twist and turn. There's gonna be a solid 
solid bridge like brian said coming across this way leading you to this amazing pool house stream will twist get very close to that travertine patio there and then hook back to the left with kind of a more organic stepper pathway leading you to that portion of the pool deck go all the way back around by where the dingo is and then there will be a bio falls set actually it's already set hidden behind the machine but the 6,000 bio falls is set up back over there dumping into an upper pool and then twisting and turning this way so this is i think what we're going to wrap up with today is get this reservoir in backfilled and then hopefully weather will permit us to come back out here tomorrow and keep plugging away we have rock getting delivered tomorrow and we're going to dig 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 and try and get a, a lot of this stream kind of roughed in so it's been an interesting day we had snow flurries this morning accumulating to about an inch and then it all disappeared as you can see there's virtually no snow anywhere behind me so we lucked out and made the right decision and put chris Juan, and myself on this to get this basin in and ready to roll for tomorrow so we're in great shape well guys stone has just arrived we got our semi load of stone this is the first one we're gonna have another one tomorrow i believe because we still need our gravel and smaller rock out here but as you guys can tell it's snowing out we are unfortunately not here today we are i just came here to accept the stone who's gonna unload us and then i'm gonna head back to the shop and we're gonna do some things at the shop because we're not gonna be very productive with the snow i mean it's all muddy back there so we're just trying to be productive as possible today and it's just better for us to pull off the job so we just want to give you guys a quick update on the stone being delivered as always so stay tuned we might be back here tomorrow but we're probably going to end up coming back next week monday it's currently wednesday so it's just with it being so muddy it's just going to be counterintuitive being out here can see we are back out on this incredible project weather is shaping up to be pretty nice however we've only had about six hours above freezing when i say above freezing it's maybe 32.6 right now that's fahrenheit for all of you people out there but it is cold so we're gonna have to battle with some frozen ground conditions it was very very wet it had kind of a wet snow rainy snow when we were out here we are going to try and tackle this reservoir area today with some of the rock work get our bridge in but we're gonna have a challenge digging because this entire top like 10 12 inches is all frozen currently so we're gonna fold everything back start digging this out get our reservoir done and then work our way out that way but we've got the tracks to our dingo our frozen salad and our mini excavator is running a little bit sluggish right now so we're just gonna battle the elements and do what we can out here but let's keep going huh productive afternoon a well, morning and afternoon it was definitely cold out here this morning so we had to do a lot of site prep you saw the ground being frozen all that stuff but we did manage to actually set some boulders which you can see down in here we've got an enormous frame rock here that's framing out not one but two waterfalls one there and then the wide one going that way and then we set these two boulders framing out the respective waterfalls right in there is about a six inch wide foot tall waterfalls that everything's gonna kind of a canyon style and then we widened it out back behind it also changing directions so that you can enjoy that view from the house and this patio space over here the reason we moved everything that far that way is we wanted to make room for our bridge element that's going to lead you from this circular stamped concrete patio that's going to go right out about this way right to the middle of the pool deck and this opening right in here so we want to take those things into consideration when we're rocking the stream and waterfalls in i know it doesn't look like a lot got accomplished today but we had to kind of restart the site after being gone for about a week 
week because of weather and just kind of move some stuff around. So logistically, it was kind of a slow day, but we set ourselves up tomorrow to really cruise along. And it looks like the weather is going to hold out for the next couple of days. So we're excited about seeing that on the upcoming forecast. So we're going to go ahead and call it there today. We may set one more boulder, but you won't see really much more happen until we get back tomorrow. All right, guys, we are back. We got Jack, myself, and Udi. Say hey, what's up, Udi? What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, the three of us are out here. We're cranking away at this feature. Right now, we are getting ready to set our bridge. And so what we're doing is going along and shaving out our dirt. So that way our bricks sit nice and level. It's just a lot easier to take a time now to make sure everything's nice and level. And then instead of beating up crap out of the bricks to make sure it's a level inside the pond. They gotta be nice and level. Yeah, they gotta be nice and level. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. It's a little tedious what we're doing, but our goal today is to get the bridge set, to get our seam done, and then get our two rocks back behind our bridge set. And then depending on how the day goes, we might get a little bit farther. I know we have to excavate some things out. So it's a lot of time consuming stuff. It's only three of us today. Chris Hansen is out sick. Uh, he's not feeling too well. And then Chris Z is out doing shutdown. So the crew's kind of split up today, but that's no big deal. Uh, it's the end of the season. So we're kind of expected for that to happen to try to help everyone out as much as we can. Without further ado, we're going to get going. So as you guys can see, we got our bridge in. As you guys have seen in all of our videos when we do bridges, we just took our block. We were blocks sitting down. That way our ladder is nice and level. We put our block on top of that and then we threw our bridge on top of that. And then we based elevation off this elevation over on this side because this was a lot higher. And we want that step on this side. So the, the grade change between the end of this bridge and the patio is roughly a good three to four inches. So it will ramp up some soil and then it'll be more of like a stepper pathway going to here because there's a good probably three feet difference between here in there. We got our next rock in. We're going to frame out this bridge. As soon as we get that done, we're going to backfill all back behind all these rocks, get that backfilled considering we have the machine nice and close. We're going to seam on and then we're going to excavate out for our next portion of the stream. Okay. 